Hi beer lovers, uh, welcome to the Flying Circus. My name's Tony Yale. I'm going to show you a few of my favourite beers. Uh, we're going to start off with some uh, bottled beers today and another time we'll have a look at some of the keg products and, uh, and draft beers, that sort of thing, taken through the cellar, all that sort of stuff. So uh, today we're going to look at a, just a few of my favourites. Uh, we're going to have a look at the uh, Trappist Roquefort 10, very strong beer, 11.3%, um, made by a, uh, a monastery in the Ardennes Forest, um, going back to about the 1500s. Uh, lovely beer, we'll, we'll have a look at that one. Delirium Tremens is a, a younger beer, a family-owned brewery in Belgium. Very, very nice uh, presentation. And my all-time favourite, the uh, Leafman's Curve Brut, um, which is a Creek uh, cherry beer. So we'll have a look at those. Okay, I've asked my uh, business partner Andy here to join us. Uh, we're just going to share these beers. As you can see, we've poured the beer into two uh, Flying Circus glasses. The, uh, the bottles split perfectly into two thirds. Great for sharing. You can try out different beers and enjoy them, get some fl flavors into you. What we've done with this one, uh, although it's called Trappist 10, it's actually 11.3. I don't know why they do that. The eight is the same. The eight is a 9%, so go figure with the Belgians. Anyway, um, the beauty of this one, it has a, a yeast content in it. And what we've done is we've separated the beers into the two glasses and then put the yeast into a shot glass. This, believe it or not, has a totally different flavor to the actual beer. So we'll give these a, a swig. Now, first of all, it's a, it's a lovely chocolate brown color with a nice collar of head there. The fragrance is still quite oaky. Um, you got a little bit of uh, coffee and chocolate notes. Just smooth as silk, absolute heaven. You're getting a little bit of um, almost Christmas cake, dried fruits, raisins, that sort of thing. But then the underlying alcohol hit gets you. Still very, very easy to drink for a 11.3%. Lovely. Then you go for the shot, and that doesn't mean you have to neck it. Then all of a sudden, you've got aniseed, a big aniseed. You've got uh, like a Sambuca type flavor in that one, which is totally amazing. Coming out of the same bottle, you wouldn't know it's the same beer. All right. So now we move on to the, uh, the Leafman's Creek. I'll just pop these out the way. Now this is a favorite of uh, both Andy and mine. And uh, no separation of yeast with this, so it's just a case of get it down here. This one is so fresh, a little bit of uh, bite. Absolutely delicious, big cherry flavor. The interesting thing about the creek is that uh, it's only brewed once a year. When the, uh, the orchards, uh, the cherries are ripe, they, uh, they farm it all, dump it in the, in the beer, which the beer is originally very, very sour. And uh, so, a long time ago, they learned to sweeten it up with dumping these cherries in. As I say, done once a year, but they, they keep it in huge oak barrels or tuns um, in their uh, cellars. And what they do is they age it for a few years. And so they've got uh, two or three different uh, stages of, of development of the beer, and they mix the three together to produce this one. So you've got some, some young content, some content that's a year old, and some that's three years old. Very, very nice, very complex flavors. So the Delirium Tremens bottle is a, uh, a mock ceramic style. So it look, looks like a milk bottle or something, but uh, you know, it, it harks back to the days when it would have been done in the ceramic style. Strangely, the um, Delirium Tremens is, is brewed by a, a small family company in, in uh, Brussels, and it's not particularly old as, as the, uh, the Abbey and Trappist beers are, but still a fabulous beer. Uh, 8.3, I believe that one is. So, lovely colour, nice head, give it a bit of a taste. Okay, you're getting a nice, smooth, almost banana flavour immediately on the tongue, and then the hops comes around after that, gives you a nice little kick. You've still got the hint of uh, coriander and orange peel that a lot of uh, Belgian pales have but uh, that is an all-round fabulous uh, triple. 
Very, very nice. So just a few of the, uh, the beers that we have in our range. Um, come in, enjoy them, use the, uh, the third glasses to share with a mate and uh, you'll have a great time.